everyone. I'm Rhonda Kelly. Welcome to Rhonda's Readings. Today, I'm obviously in Australia because I'm Australian and it's COVID and I'm in lockdown. I can't leave Australia. So what I did recently was attend a Scandinavian Christmas market. So God, Jill, to all of the Scandinavians watching, Merry Christmas. So what I did is purchase some Scandinavian lollies. I had been to Scandinavia. I went to Iceland 2001. I went to Denmark 2002 and 2003, 2004, I went to the other countries. I went to Sweden, Norway, Finland. Did I say Denmark? I went, but anyway, I went back to Denmark. So I have actually been to these countries. And for anyone who's met me through travel and knows that I am Sagittarius, love travel, I absolutely love trying out the different lollies and sweets from different countries. And clearly from Scandinavian countries and from Holland as well, the Netherlands, there's very salty licorice. So I'm expecting some of these lollies to taste a bit salty. I've sampled some already. So <laughs> I'll just a warning, I will show you the packets, but um, I am expecting them to taste a bit salty. So I have my trusted water bottle here ready to um, gulp if, <laughs> if I've got a really salty taste. But um, comment below, let me know if you identify these lollies and sweets and if they're your favorite if you agree with my reaction or not please um let me know but that's that's basically what I'm doing today for my Rhonda's readings video okay so I've actually sampled some already my husband and I have opened these the first ones I had were Jules Skum um J-U-L-E-S-K-U-M so dual scum, I hope that's the correct spelling. Um, these are, I believe, a product from, I'm not sure where they're from. Okay, so the ingredients, I'm just looking at the ingredients there um, written in other languages. So they're confecture or scum slick or vatamos matsia or shum zuckerware or scum goddess or dual scum. So these are a product of Sweden. So these were really yummy. These were little marshmallow Santas. They were just pink and white Santa Clauses. Um, so I like marshmallow. I like having hot chocolate with marshmallows on top. These were massive though. Like each one was about that, that sort of big and it was just like a really thick marshmallow. So you literally, you can't have one in one bite. You've got to have one in about four bites. So um, but they, were, they were pretty pretty tasty jewel scum. <laughs> um, really, I, I, unfortunately, I, we ate them, so I don't have them. But um, I would, for flavour, I would give that uh, 10 out of 10. For the size of it, I'd, I would prefer it to be about a third of the size because it was massive. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty yummy standard marshmallows you could get anywhere. So that's no surprise for that. So that's a win for Sweden. This one, which also opened and tried, this is a Haribo Matador mix. And this is a product of Denmark um, from Fax, Faxi in Denmark. Um, so Haribo lacrids so um look up look up for nugget god look up for haribo so that's my um trying to speak danish all i remember from my time in in the scandinavian countries is her legit which was i think hello and i remember tuck which is thank you and what i learned recently was god which is merry christmas um i think that's in swedish i think I'm not sure. Anyway, so these these lollies, um, I'd probably give my absolute favourite was that one just there. It was kind of like a licorice candy thing. That was so yummy. I give that one 10 out of 10. The other ones were kind of like the Australian equivalent of gummy bears. They're really sort of soft and wobbly lollies of different shapes, like round ones and um, long ones. So um, I'd give them, yeah, literally probably 5 out of 10 because I don't like sort of wobbly lollies I prefer crunchy things that you can bite so I didn't like the softness of them but that that lolly in particular that was my favorite so um that one overall I give so what's that I gave five and ten out of ten so I give it seven and a half out of ten overall 
Um, I'm not going to rate the price of them because I paid. I paid. They were well. Scandinavian countries are expensive, but I paid a lot of money. <laughs> I think they're about um, between five to nine dollars Australian a packet of the things I brought. I don't remember the price of each one, but obviously, well, you would think they'll be cheaper buying it over there, but maybe not. <laughs> um, so yeah, they were sort of expensive, more expensive, like a packet of lollies in Australia you could buy for, you know, a few dollars on special. So, um, yeah, to pay closer to 10 is more expensive. So that's the two. They're the two I've tried. The one that I'm going to try, this one, um, my husband's already started opening it. Um, and, by the way, I did invite him to um, come and sample these on screen with me and he declined. <laughs> um, so... This one is Confetti Mix. I think that's how you pronounce it by um, Carletti. Um, it's also called Skewed Strup, S-K-E-D-S-T-R-U-P. And that's um, www.carletti.dk. So I'm assuming that's Denmark. Um, and obviously the languages are in Finland, Swedish, Norwegian. Oh, yeah, there is an, a UK one. So Druggy, Draggy, G D R A G W -E is is the back of the packet that I'm reading. <laughs> but anyway, I'll try this one. So I'm assuming this is a licorice sort of one because um, it looks like it looks. It reminds me of the Dutch ones. Is it the Clurendop? The um, the Dutch little like you know how you can get the chalk little licorice sort of things, but you can also get the coloured ones. So it reminds me of that. It smells like licorice. So I'll try that one. Confetti mix. Okay, that's okay. That's um, yeah, it just tastes like licorice. It's actually not so, not so. It's really sweet with the the candy yellow outline. Um, I'll take a bite so I can show you in, in the middle. So that's the middle of it. That's pretty good. Excuse my nails. I've just <laughs> need to do my nails. But yeah, that's pretty nice. So that's um, that's um. So I do I do like licorice. Um. So out of ten, I probably probably give that about eight out of ten. Like it's not too salty, so it's not as bad as I thought it would be. It's just really sweet with the candy. Like I I kind of prefer licorice to not taste sweet, but just salty. So that's those ones. Okay, so, so far, so good. I'm hoping that the last three aren't too salty, but I just had a little bit of anxiety when I read the packet of this one. So this next one is from Sweden. It's called Dijon Gerlöval, if that's what it's called, D J U N E G. No, I'm reading upside down. D J U N G L V R A with a dot on it. L. So Dungerval original, super salty licorice jungle raw. So that's fantastic. Um, smells okay. It's not a fantastic smell, but it's not putrid. So um, and it's there's like chalk. Or something on it I think so that's these little ones doesn't yeah so it's it's just like a packet of little the jung the things but it's apparently super salty so I'm hoping not I have got a tissue to spit into and some water but we'll give this one a go so that's this one oh fuck oh, <laughs> Oh my god, I can just taste salt in my mouth. Oh my god, my mouth is full of salt. Far out. Oh, that's that's rank. Oh my god. That's real, that's pretty. Okay, so for any Australians out there who 
like licorice but don't like salty licorice, you can stick your Dejunga bowls um, where the sun doesn't shine. That's pretty, oh, that's, yeah, that's pretty bad. I, I just, um, I mean, I was expecting some salty sort of licorice but not, okay, that's pretty bad. So that's super salty. So I'm glad at least the packet recognised it's super salty. Um, but I I don't even think my husband will like that, but maybe we'll gift it to someone we don't like. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the next one I'm going to try. So this is a Lacridis Hits, Tom's Lacridis Hits. I don't know what it is. I know about, well, I don't know, but I've, I've met, I met about four Toms from... Sweden and Finland. So I don't know whether Tom or Tommy or Tomic is a good, like a, a common name, but comment below. Let me know if it is. So this is called um, Tom's Lacrids Hits. Um, and then the yellow dot says Lacrids Stanger, an A and an E together. Stanger, Lacrids Stanger. So tell me also oh, if you can comment below um, what the A and the E together means or whether it's just a typo. But certainly the dots with the vowels, the dots on top of vowels is two dots. Um, one had a dot over a, what did this one? This one had a dot, I think. I don't know. One of them had a dot over an E, I think. And this one's got two dots over the A. I'm assuming it's something like a different tone or you kind of... Um, you say the word for longer, like you say that pronounce the vowel differently for longer or something like that. Let, let me know if that's okay. So that's this one. I'm trying to work out where this one's from. Denmark, from Bellarup, then Denmark. So um, I, yeah, so I've, I've actually been to Scandi. I went to a conference in Iceland. It was called the World Sleep Meeting in Reykjavik and that was beautiful. So I flew into Keflavik Airport Went to Reykjavik, did a day trip to um, Snuff, I don't know, a place that starts with S, Snuff, Snuff, Snuff Lattis Peninsula or something. We were meant to go, I think, over around a volcano, but then the weather got bad, so we came back. But it was fun in that we went, um, we did a little, we had these little bikes on snow, like little quad bikes, so that was a lot of fun. Um, I didn't go to Blue Lagoon, unfortunately, but I'll, next time I go to Iceland, I'll do that. And that'll be nice because that'll be obviously with my husband. So we'll be able to do that. In Denmark, I went to obviously Copenhagen, saw the changing of the guards, saw the Royal Palace and go Queen Mary, Australian princess in Denmark. <laughs> um, so I did that, went, saw obviously the Little Mermaid. I went to go in that, there's a tower, like a church building that has the stairs that go around on the outside and I went to go that and they just closed it so I was pissed off at that I didn't get to go and then I went another day and it was closed due to weather so I, I whatever that church was I don't remember but I never got to see that never actually got to go in and climb up those stairs on the outside I thought what an amazing view um I then so I did a tour with a company called Top Deck Tours and it was called the Red Star Special so we went to um, St. Petersburg and Moscow and Visorad, Vis Visorad or something like that in Russia. But I basically went up the coast. So I, I can say if someone tells me to go to hell, I can say I've been there in Norway. I went right up the top to Nordcap. Uh, basically sort of, yeah, went up along the coast, the fjords, and then came down, obviously went to the capital cities. Um, Oslo is amazing. There was a, um, like a Navy a naval sort of exhibition or something or maybe it's always there but they everyone speaks English and I one was an environmental um boat so it's talk I was a I was a medical scientist so I was talking to him about that so that was that was amazing I had a wonderful had wonderful times went to a an ice bar so that was pretty cool having little vodka shots in ice glasses uh so I did that um yeah and went to see um Lapland um, I was actually really excited. I never knew, as a child growing up in Australia, you obviously associate reindeers with Santa Claus, and Santa Claus is obviously make-believe. So I actually got the fright of my life when I saw a 
a reindeer in real life. I saw this massive animal with these massive horns, antlers, and I just said to some hot Swedish guy, I think he was, I said, what's that? He said, it's a reindeer. I said, no, seriously, what is it? I thought he was joking. But I didn't. I actually didn't know that reindeers were real. I thought that reindeers were make-believe like Santa, but they're actually real animals. So I didn't actually know that. So it's it's pretty funny. Um, so I'm obviously, I am blonde from a bottle. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's my um, memories from going around Scandinavia. So anyway, I'm going to try these little bad boys from Denmark. So the Tom's Lacrids Hits, Lacrids Stranger Hits. So first the smell test. Oh, it smells okay. It's kind of like licorice all sorts. smells like licorice all sorts in Australia. So I would say they're, oh, they're different colours, I think. Oh, okay. Alrighty. So different. So um, there's little pink ones and whatever colour that is meant to be and white ones. So I might try a little white one first. Um, yeah, that's okay. That's not too salty. Again, I like licorice, so that's that's pretty tasty. It's some, um, yeah, it literally tastes like licorice all sorts. So in Australia, we have square pieces and each colour has, if you just Google licorice all sorts, um, and each colour is a, like there's, there's obviously the black licorice colour, but there's white, there's, there's different colours. So yeah, it's pretty nice. So this is, it feels like a different texture actually. Maybe that's just a bit of a reject one, not meant to be in a packet, but anyway, I'll try that one. All right, that's a bit salty. Pink one, but the white one's good. The pink tastes like um, like a, not strawberry, but it's got a flavouring to it. Yeah, so that's um, okay. Oh, and there's the other colour too. I'll try that one. <clears throat> so that's this one. I like I like the pattern of it. That's pretty cool. Maybe this is the Scandinavian licorice all sort one. So I'll try that one. Oh, that's a different flavour again. Yeah, okay. So the pink and this one is a weird one. Like it's got a, a flavour that's not caramel. It's not, I don't know what it is. But the white one is actually pretty good. Yeah, so that's that one. So um, I think there's three different colours. Pink, white and brown. Um, okay, so the white one I would give 9 out of 10. The pink one I'd give six out of ten. <laughs> this one I'd probably give about a five out of ten. So um, between the three of them, I have to work out the average. Um, so maybe I'd give them seven or seven and a half out of ten. So I'll give this one, these ones, seven and a half out of ten. Um, they they do smell like licorice all sorts. They do taste like licorice all sorts. I think it's just the cut, the flavouring, like whatever flavor that is if you can let me know because i can't read the label the label is written in the ingredients is the ingredient nessa sugar i'm guessing it's sugar and syrup glucose fructose yep that's pretty standard gluten oh it's not gluten free <laughs> that's okay that doesn't bother me um okay yeah, so that's, um, they're, they're actually not too bad. That's a hell of a lot better than um, this one. This one was, was I'm pretty traumatised by that. So um, I'll remember that for the next time I go to Scandi and I try different lollies. I certainly won't buy anything with a monkey on it or something that says super salty. Okay, so hopefully I've left the best to last. So that's my um, take on the ones I've tried. This is my last one. So this one is unopened. My husband hasn't eaten it. Feels a bit hard, which is good because I like I like hard, crunchy. Like I like something I can bite into. Um, this is called oh okay, vegan, but it says too hot to handle. 
So hopefully that's not a good thing. Hopefully that means it's hot as in um, it's good. So it's called um, Turkish pepper, Turkish, T-Y, lollies, product of Finland. Okay. Okay. Well, actually, I'm thinking this might be a bit hot. So um, I'm happy I'm going to end this video soon because if it is, maybe I'll just, if I get the sense that it's pretty bad and maybe I won't have it. Um, but anyway, that's, um, so let's smell this one. Oh, it already smells pretty bad. Yeah, I'm not going to like this. Okay, so it's a big, okay, so it's like a lolly, like a hard lolly. It just smells like sugar. Um, maybe I'll, if it's going to be really hot, it's like it's got three hot things, maybe I'll just lick it. Can't really taste anything. Yeah, I can't taste it, but I don't want to put it in my mouth knowing the things. But maybe I'll I'll put it in and get ready to spit it out if it's hot. What's this one? Oh, there it is. It just tastes like an aniseed, like a licorice. I don't know what the warning is about the heat. Um, I mean, I haven't, I would normally, whatever, if I had a hard lolly, I'd just put it in my mouth and crunch it. Um, but I'm not getting a sense that it's hot. Oh, yeah, I can feel, I can, yeah. I don't know where the heat receptors the, are on your tongue. Yeah, it's hot, but it's not. It tastes like a bit of, um, it's almost like a chili or sumac. You know, the sumac, the lemon pepper, the um, Arabic. It's almost a bit. Okay, I thought I'd hate that one because it says too hot, but this. This is the one I hated the most, the monkey doja girl. Yeah, so that's not too bad. I thought I'd not like that. But, um, I mean, it, it, the packet sort of, it looks like it clumps in the packets. So imagine if you put more than one in your mouth, your mouth would be on fire. Yeah, I could definitely feel the warmth, but it's actually pretty nice. And this, I think, was the cheapest one. I think this one was only five bucks. And I think this was the most expensive because this was a massive, excuse me, so it's 150 grams of hot lolly chilies. <laughs> um, and this one was 500 grams of mixed lollies. So, um, yeah, that's not, that's actually pretty nice. I could easily like have that, like, you know, if you, it's three o'clock and you want to, don't know if you want a cup of coffee in your, or not, I'd probably just have one of these. Like it's a it's a wake up taste. Okay, so that's my basically <laughs> my trying of Scandinavian lollies. So I've, I've tried that one and that one previously. I also tried for you this one. This one. Oh, that's not the order. It's this one first, and then this one, and then this one. So my favourite is actually this one. Um, followed by this one. So the Turkish pepper and the dual skim. Um, then I'd probably say I like, I like the white ones only of these ones, the Lacrids hits, not the other ones. Um, I also, I loved this one, the, that middle one of this one. Um, that one was a bit like take it or leave it. It was just kind of like eating candy or lollies rather than licorice. And this one, you couldn't 
Honestly, if you paid me a million dollars, I would not eat another one of those. So I just couldn't. Um, but yeah, while I'm still eating my my this one, that's basically my um, filbert. Oops, I dropped it on myself. That's fantastic. Um, but that's basically my uh, my Australian trying Scandinavian lollies. So if you would like me to try anything else, um, and please by that, I don't mean that tin of whatever that thing is that you've yeah, got to open underwater because it ferments so much the tin opens. That's like, please, nothing that's going to smell shocking or not be allowed in Australia. Australia has strict quarantine laws. But if you wanted to send me wherever you're watching from around the world, if you did want me to sample lollies or let me try something, um, feel free to contact me. Um, but obviously during COVID and the world opening up again, I can finally do that. And hopefully my next video like this, I'll actually be able to do from overseas somewhere and try things overseas. But thank you so much for watching everyone. Thank you. Bye.